Hello guys and welcome back to another episode of the Derby County career mode. Now we we've been playing we've played quite a few games since I left you off. Left left last left off. I don't know what the words are. We beat Middlesbrough 2-1 straight away. It was a great um great victory. But we've had a bit of a rocky run since then. We beat Wigan 5-4 and the five goals conceded probably was a bit of a a, a bit of an example that we're not really that defensive enough for my liking. We drew against West Brom. We lost against Villa. We beat Millwall, luckily. Tough um, tough result. We lost against Hull. We drew against Ipswich. And we drew against Sheffield United. So we're not getting the results we want at the moment. Which is annoying me. But it's also annoyed the board. As you'll soon see in a minute, we have... Well, we're expecting a takeover. The club has been, been put up for sale. And it looks like someone's going to come in and... Take the club over. Well, I reckon it's going to be a billionaire. Or someone. If it works or not. <laughs> Might not work. That'd be funny. I'll buy another one. See if it works this time. I don't know how long it takes for a financial takeover to go through. I don't know if it's going to be going to actually work. To be completely honest, I hope it goes through. I've bought two of them now. Tom Lawrence isn't going anywhere. I need him for squad depth. We do have a game against Carlisle. Oh, it looks like there's actually a bug in the game where it doesn't actually work, which is annoying. We will play this game against Carlisle in the cup. Hopefully we can win that in the cup and get some money that way. We can use full strength. Let's go into the game and see if we can get the winner. I'll be annoyed if it doesn't work. Mason Mount gets down the line, crosses it in. It's setting yo, what a goal! Great publicity for this game in the Emirates FA Cup. I'm Martin Tyler, and this is Alan Smith. Yeah, good afternoon, Martin. Looking forward to this. The papers have been full of it this week, and I hope we're not disappointed. Derby County featuring this match against Carlisle United. really could be the star of the show today three in his last three really been his team's man of the moment
This is the Derby County lineup. Strong lineup from me. Hopefully we can go get the victory. That frustration that you feel as the home team when you only draw. Mm -hmm. They drew against Sheffield United. Yeah, See Poland and Colombia are playing in real li in uh, uh, real life in the World Cup. Big game for England that is. Attacking well here. Realistically, we don't really want to be playing either of them. It was good play until they got that challenge in. As Mason Mount runs now, through, can he get past? Hill and a cut inside straight into Granger. Hope to Stockton Kennedy. Kennedy back to Hope Good into Stockton again. Can he find Hope again? He does. Good Is it going to be 1 0? Oh, what a save, Sevilla. Sevilla. Here comes the corner. Defender has taken a gamble. It looks as though it's paid off. It's good for Mason Mount there. Into Vidra. And here they are on the attack. The Vidra off. shoots. Plenty of power and not too much direction. Frustration from the manager, but by the same token, his team are playing well. They might have gone ahead there, but they'll get another chance. We hopefully will get another chance. Kennedy. Played down the wing, keeping the wide at with Sullivan position. into hope, who's caused problems so far. Tries to whip it in and stops and puts in the back of the net. That's the first one, and I think there'll be a few more to come. Super break, put the move together very quickly and clinically, and got there. We go again, boys. We go again. That's like I just said in the um, previous like well, the start of the episode. Our defence is so shaky. Mason Mount Park going to cross the over to Andre Wisdom. Andre, Andre Wisdom. Stopped emphatically and just as well. The approach play looks very encouraging. Hope's oh, running through. To O'Sullivan. Is they, are they going to make it two? No, luckily Savard yeah, slaves it, catches it with ease. Experience keeper and he showed it there. Andre Wisdom. Could be dangerous. Fair, and I'm really hoping that someone bring buys him in the uh, even in the summer or in January. It's not going to be January because I've just bought him. To level it up now. Berriton, my main man, get now. in. The goal is given, and that is the equaliser. Needed that. Well, they all count the same, but he won't ever get an easier one. No, I don't think so. But uh, he was there, right place, right time. Uh, level both sides have scored here now and so Sullivan Hill Hill and the hope good back to Stockton the goal scorer In with the good block and a corner given by the referee can we get this clearance this corner out we'll try and clear it we do well to clear it but Berriton can't come away with the ball falls to Kennedy into O'Sullivan into Stockton Luckily, he missed that. He didn't miss his first opportunity. Vidra to Ronaldo. Over to Mason. On to Andre Wisdom on the right hand side. Over to Phil Allen Torres. We know he's not the quickest. Back to Barrington. Can we look for Torres again? We can. He's going to cross it. Vidra, it's 2 1. We've turned it around. That's what we needed, boys. Well, he got to the position of maximum opportunity. It was an impossible opportunity to squander. Yeah, we often say it was an easy chance, but you have got to be there. And, uh, Come on. has got the knack of doing that. 
And we restart the game 2-1. They spread it out wide here. Chance to get some width into this attack. Good forward play from them. Let's get that Dennis out. Davis. Kennedy. Little piece of interplay between the two. Bit of space for him. Now out on the wing. The referee has indicated oh. Two more minutes to be played then, added time. Stockton. Hope. Hope. Perry's chasing, he's going to hack him down, or try Adams. to, but he actually wins the, the ball. Here. Well, the referee is blown for half time here with 2-1 the score. Well, the player that we're featuring here has done well. He's certainly been an influence on this first half. I'm actually going to make a, a change. The change that I wanted to do earlier. Vidra's got to be on that wing, and the Torres isn't going to be playing there. Bereton's going to kick it off. Mason Mount into Vidra. Yeah, I don't know Vidra's first name. Looking for more of the same here. Good position. They've worked this attack very well into a quite a dangerous position. Get that into Sessignon. Bereton, turn on it if you can and shoot. Oh, yes. Oh, what a fine goal. <sighs> they lead by two now. They'll feel a little bit more comfortable in their good value for this advantage at the moment two for him on the day and two very well taken goals 3-1 the scoreline as we restart the game into the attacking third can we get that ball high pressure I think we need to go now it goes into the wider kick this fast pace got a wing winning pass. the ball back quickly He's on oh my god they're going to the get it oh what a consolation oh, how cheeky is that Takes a lot of bottle to join that, but he's got it. He looked the goalkeeper in the eyes and said, right, I've got the win here, and he's got the goal to show that. I love that kind of finish when you don't have to blast it as long as the placement is right. Very good game, 3-2. Vidya. Into Andre Wisdom. Looking good, this move. Taking on the defenders. Penalty. How has that not been given? For a throw in. Top player, top performance today from him, right on his game. He's being substituted now, and the crowd have loved watching his performance. I don't know how that wasn't given as a penalty. Tom Lawrence gets round one. Didn't really put a foot wrong. Gets round three. Oh, what a finish. Fine moment for them. They've got a firmer grip on the game now. They're two ahead. Just look at the way he's got past these defenders, Alan, and really maximised the situation he created for himself. Well, he did. It was, it was Danger. And some wonderful balance and footwork. Into to Ronaldo Vieira. Defenders and knock the ball in the back of the net. Wonderful goal. Guiding. Here's a chance. Sessing Young. Placed it past the goalkeeper. It's comfortable now. It's comfortable. Does extend their margin now at an important time. There's a huge golfing class out there, Martin, and that's been shown by the scoreline. Well, 
much great what we needed. Comes together and the manager doubly delighted we needed a result like this. Lots of goals. So one sided today, but all few to conceded. Two uh, still quite a lot. Especially to yeah. League. Are they League One or League Two? Doesn't matter. Let's just knock them out of the cup. Onto the attack now. So the FA Cup, you do get a lot of That's revenue. Corner. So wait, wait, why have I just brought Anya on centre back? He's got options on the bench, of course. How's he? I can even play centre back. He's a winger. He's put in the corner. Defender did well to get to it, but hasn't really finished the job. Pressed high here. Mason Mount's going to look for a ball over the top of Bereton, but that is just going to go off. And it will be a kick for the goalkeeper, goal kick. And the manager's decided for a change of personnel. To be replaced by number 13, Jamal Campbell Rice. Right, win that header. Alan, Campbell it, Rice. What a big money deal it would be if it went through. Big money deal. It's a loan well, move. All the fans <laughs> are excited about it, Martin, and I bet the player is as well. I bet uh, he's desperate for the move to go through. Now they've got a Sesson chance. Young into Bereton. Gets around one, gets around two, and puts in the back of the net. Quality in the build-up and a brilliant finish. A wonderful goal. It's his third goal. It's a hat trick, today. hat trick for Ben Burriton. He's really been on form. They will be signing the match ball for him afterwards. Bop, 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 the yeah, he won't forget do, 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 this day in a hurry. Top stuff from him. Into the attacking third. Here's Bennett. There's no more conceded, please, boys. Quick witted and quick in his movement too to intercept there. Well, suddenly they could be on the counter attack. Opening them up with a through pass. Vidra is going to shoot across the goalkeeper here. Threw everything behind that shot. And frustrated close. that it wasn't quite <laughs> Very a close. Well, if he keeps getting in those kind of areas, I'm sure Cas he'll score pretty soon. Kasadai is coming on. It's the man of the match, I think we should say. The centre midfield player. I don't want to put words into your mouth, my friend. But he's, uh, he seems to have been in control of pretty much everything that's been good for his team. Yeah, I think he takes the honours without question. Not a difficult Nine minutes to play. This one. And uh, rightfully getting a good round of applause. Well, that's over the top of the defender. Can we win that? To chase. Lawrence to Barrett. Uh, oh, he's meant to go to Casabar. Viola into Jones. Jones into Bennett. Bennett into Viola again. Down the line to Parks. In into Stockton. He's already got one in the game. Oh, what a save from Sivilla. He's one of the best in the business for most kind of situations. Oh, to be fair, um, Stockton might have a brace. I'm not sure who scored Carlisle's second. It was a promising situation. They could have made more of that. And Tom Lawrence can't get away with it. Comes in with a tackle. Cassaday. Does a one-two with Bereton, who's running forward as fast as he can go. Oh, I tried to find Tom, Tom, Lawrence, Tom Lawrence as he uh, peeled away off the defender, but wasn't to do so. Wisdom gets sank on that, and he does. And there goes the full-time whistle. We win 6-2. It was absolutely. Burton gets the match ball, but what's important is that we got plus four golds. I know it's not in the league; doesn't really matter, but that's what's what's important. The Football Association Challenge Cup. AFC Wimbledon 1, Queen's Park Rangers 1, Aston Villa 1, Cardiff City 2, Birmingham City 1, right, I'm gonna save it. United 3, Blackburn Rovers 1, Sarnsley 2, Blackpool 2, Walsall 2. I'm gonna enter it. I don't know if this will work. Let's skip a day. Quit. I'm going to go buy my third 
financial takeover. Financial support, by the way, of a billionaire owner. Once redeemed, your budget will automatically be increased in your career. Can only use once per season. Okay, so redeem. Wait, transaction incomplete. Congratulations, you now own this item. Okay. I'll now go and continue career mode. Don't know why I didn't just get the first one. We had two million. We now have a transfer budget, finally. We have a decent amount of money now because a billionaire owner has come in and bought the club. He said to us, sort your defense out. We've got two center backs on the cards. We've got a, a 32 year old and obviously Perry's 17, so he's really young. And what I'm going to do with this is have a formation change. I'm going to go with that formation. And that is the team so far. Torres can be better on the right wing because he's not that quick. Sessignon will push up a little bit, but I think that's all right. What we're going to go do is buy the, a, a defender that I know is good enough to play. Matthias Delic someone that I would love to buy and actually he's, he is someone I'm going to go and buy he's not for sale he doesn't oh what are you joking me Andreas Christ Christensen's just a bit obvious isn't he I'm not going to go for him obviously we have got Frank Lampard at the club and Tom Ho um Jody Morris so I will be going straight to Chelsea to see what defenders they have on their books that they might be willing to offer me. It's one of the uh, benefits about having a uh, two ex-Chelsea players on on the cards. So you've got Rudiger, Christensen's obviously very good. Trevor Chalobah's good. That's been quite too good for Derby. I'm going to quickly have a look at, I don't know if he's on loan or not, he is on loan so I can't buy him yet but I will. I might go in for Kurt Zuma in the next season, um, I'm just trying to think, who's a good ball playing centre back I don't mind them being 26 ish but they've got to be able to justify themselves I think we've got to go higher we've got to go Premier League standard Mason Holgate is very good. Could be someone. Thomas Kalash. Michael Keane. Oh, he's just arrived. There's no point scouting him. Jamal Lascelles. He's actually really good. Uh, no, I'm not going to go for Lindelof. Harry Maguire is someone I wouldn't mind going in for.
Savage has actually moved back to Manchester City from Atletico Madrid. The Vidson Sanchez is probably a little bit too high rated for the championship. James Tokowski is definitely someone we could go in for. Bundesliga. Is there anyone that I know of? Obviously, Jeffrey Broomer used to play for Chelsea, but he's obviously a bit too good now. Mamadou Dakure is actually a good defen um, defender. We didn't really use him much in the uh, club and country save. Maurice Oxford, Englishman. Jonathan Tarr is probably a bit too good. Dan Axel Zagadu is actually really meant to be good, meant to be good as well. I think it's important that we're I think it's important that we don't get anyone too good. Um, like, I don't want to make the game really. Yeah, yes, we've bought in. We've got a millionaire superstar come in. But we're not going to get the likes of anyone amazing come to the championship. We're not even, like, first, like, definitely going up. Someone that's interested me as someone that could come play left back or centre back is Kieran Tierney. Why has he gone to Brazil? Like, come on. Another guy that I do like, but he's probably Scouse. He's he's gone to Juventus. Everyone's moved in this save. Why well, is everyone moving around? Right, Ake surely hasn't moved. He has as well. He's gone to Ayabar from Bournemouth. Why is he on loan? It doesn't make any sense. <laughs> Everyone's like everyone I I'm interested in has decided to just move. <laughs> right. I might have found someone. If he moves, I'm just gonna be so annoyed. <laughs> Mukalai, Mukalai. Finally, someone that hasn't moved that I will scout and hopefully buy. We also need to buy a striker. Obviously, we've signed Bereton. Someone that interests me, who's on loan, brilliant. Tammy's still on loan, isn't he? He's so annoying. Someone that's been sought after for quite a while is Musa Dembele. It's 
say I would love to go for Inacho, but I, I, would, I wouldn't want to make him come down the league. We will be offering like big money for them to, to join. It's like it's interesting because the likes of like Ruben Neves, he went to the championship. He moved there. Emery Moore's definitely someone that I'd like to go for, but he's on loan as well. What about Dolberg? Surely he's not. He's on loan. Everyone's on loan. Like I say, I don't. I'm not bringing anyone good down. Uh, do you know what? Someone that could have ties with Frank Lampard. Bertrand Traore. It's so annoying having everyone just moved. Right, if you look at it, we do need a new striker and a defender. Do we have anyone that I can actually go for? <laughs> out on loan, out on loan. Recently joined. We don't know enough. We don't know enough. Out on loan. Recently joined. Recently joined. Out on loan. Don't know enough. We don't know enough. We're not scouting him. Mental. Everyone's just joined. See, we could offer Jack Wilshire a chance. We could give him that chop. We could offer. We could say, "Come play for us. Next season, we will be in the Premier League." You never know. I think Jack Wilshere is definitely someone I could go, do you know what, come play with us next year, we will definitely have Premier League football. And if we don't get it, he don't have to come play for us. But he also definitely does have to play. Alexander Arnold was someone I could definitely buy. Hetman Davis. Tom Kearney. Loftus Cheek is out on loan. Wilfred Zaha. I'd love to bring in Wilfred Zaha. 
but he's definitely a Premier League player. I'm going to approach to sign Jack Wilshere. I know that doesn't, like, it's not really going to change the team now. But for next season, it would, it would just be a great rotation. Like, someone in the, in the side to... I just think it's a good signing. No release clause, perfect. So he's on 110. If I just offer him 120, what is he going to say to that? Fair offer. So he, he is happy with that. So Jack Wilshire is in. Trent Alexander Arnold. He's going to be my first signing. And he's going he's gonna to play that right centre back role. I'm going to offer 12 and a half. And they're ha Klopp's happy with me to have their starting right back for 12 and a half million. If that's the case, I'm happy to take him off your hands. I'm sure the board are going to love this move because they he's bought he's bought the club for billions of pounds and we're making moves that we want he wanted us to see. Alexander Arnold is my new starting centre back. Or one of the Definitely be a better improvement. So that's the team at the moment. Obviously, we do need that new striker. Vidra can play there. We could just bring in a cam. Vieira can play. Who was that playing CD? Just bring in a cam. I think we've done well to bring in Jack Wilshere. I'm not going to bring in um, any more free, uh, yeah, free players because it's just silly. Offering for Marcus Olsen. No. It's not happening. Nice training session there. I think I might have just found someone. He goes by the name of Josh King. He is Premier League proven. And he... Really? 
It's just silly. <laughs> I just want to sign someone. But yeah, I want to sign someone, but I don't want to sign someone silly. I think Justin Weigel. I don't know how to spell his name. Julian Weigel. I'd love to sign him. Again, I can, I can offer him guaranteed Premier League football next season if he helps me get them there this season. If we can bring in Julian Weigel, he's got a twenty-eight pound million. I'm paying that release clause. We're going to bring in Julian Weigel as our new centre mid alongside Ronaldo Vieira. He's got a four year deal. He's on such low wages as well. Happy to bring him in, and Julian Weigel is our big summer sign, oh, January signing. That's going to change the team around a lot. Vidra is going to push up front for the rest of the season. Mason Mount's going to be in my cam, and Weigel is going to sit in there. Alexander Arnold's there. Silviar's in goal. I'm happy with that. So, f at the moment, I'm happy with that. As our team going forward. I might bring in that Mukalili, 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 I don't know. But for the time being, we've got a scout report back on Kurt Zuma. He's on loan, so I can't do anything about it. I might like to bring in Jamal Lascelles. This is the only episode, the only games in the entire save that I'm going to sim the games in the episode. Because it's a transfer special. Obviously, we played Carlisle, but the league games are the only games in the season that I will sim. Torres gets a goal. Maybe Simmons what Torres needs. I just hope someone comes in and buys him. Two 0 Vidra gets on the score sheet. Alexander Arnold gets sent off in his debut on his debut. We actually beat Birmingham. English Football League Championship. Birmingham City nil. Derby County, 2. Blackburn Rovers, 0. Rotherham United, 0. Brentford, 1. Bolton Wanderers, 1. Bristol City, 0. Norwich City, 1. Sessing Young Dr. 76 one. rate him. Reading, 2. Ipswich Town, 1. Leeds United, 1. Middlesbrough, 0. Swansea City, 1. Millwall, 1. I can't believe he got sent off in his debut. Two. That's hilarious. Nottingham Forest, 0. Aston Villa, 1. West Bromwich Albion, 3. Stoke City, 0. Wigan Athletic, 1. Queen's Park Rangers, How long's left on these one. scouts? Now let's see what effect that's had on the league standings. At the top of the table remain Swansea City. I don't know who's scouting them. Points. Emory Moore, 9 second, days. West Bromwich Albion with 55 points. In third, Aston Villa with 52 points. In fourth, Sheffield Wednesday. Josh King, 11, 9, 3, 9, 3. Okay. Above. In fifth, climbing the table are Derby County. It's a bit worrying considering it's. Oh no, they'll all be scouted for the end of the uh, transfer window. Nottingham Forest with 43 points. 
In seventh, rising up the table, are Norwich City with 41 points. In eighth, moving down, are... Henderson's move to Roma. Henderson. England's probably best player in the World Cup this year. <laughs> well, by Harry, but Harry Kane. Scout report on Kasper Dolberg. 77 rated, obviously he's out on loan. Nathan Ake, obviously he's out on loan. 78 rated. These are the types of players I want to bring in. Kieran Tony, I'd love to have signed him. But I can't. Jamal Lascelles, Newcastle have received a £30 million offer from Watford. £13 million? I would be happy to bring in Jamal Lascelles as a replacement for Curtis Davis. Josh King's got a release clause. Has anyone else got a release clause? Kure's got a release clause of 1 million. He's just not good enough, is he? Hold on. Right, Josh King. Who am I talking? I, I, I can't remember who I'm looking at. Mukalali is definitely someone I might bring in. But the team would not sell, is too important. Okay, so he's not going to go anywhere. Zagadu's not going anywhere. Reese Oxford's not going anywhere. Moussa Dembele, is he quick? He actually is. Is Jamal Lascelles quick? No. Although he's a very good ball playing defender. Is he being scouted? Mason Holgate, I'm not I don't really care about him. Hepburn, I'm not fussed about. Dijon Sterling, no. Howie Davison, or Howison, whatever his name is. Can't sign Hudson Adoy yet. Barkley's someone I could sign next season. Tom Curran, he's 27, he's not going to go anywhere. Just removing players that I know I'm not going to go for, like Christensen. I'm not going to go for Twins AB, Gomez, Foyth, Fry. These two I'd like to keep on there just to have just to watch, see what happens. Can't sign Delict, annoyingly. Someone I can sign is Mukulele, and I'm going to go and see if I can buy him for about £15 million. Pounds. So I'm going on for 13. See what they say to it. 16. Uh, 14, and if I sell him on, you can have 15%. I've lowered it a little bit. That's okay. Can I do his buyout clause? Do you know what? I'm going to. Josh King's buyout clause. If I can bring these two in, the defender first, it will be such a good episode.
He's only on 58. Oh, shit. I didn't want to give him rotation. He's going to start for me. <laughs> Five year deal. 20 years old. Will you accept it? Yes. No release clause. That's fine by me. And I'm just going to give him 25k a week. He should just accept. And he is in. Can I bring Josh King in straight away? He will start. He's going to say free in a year. I thought so. So I can give him a four year deal. Disregard a release clause. And if I remove the bonus. Give him that. Will he accept that? We have a new striker. These guys are next season. But for now. really good for now this is our new look team we've got Vigel in there Alexander Arnold Mukalili King that, that, that actually makes our bench stronger as well That is our new look team. Let's go test. Well, we won't test the players out yet because obviously it's um, the January transfer episode. So we're just going to be simulating. Torres gets on the score sheet. English Football League Championship. Aston Villa 2, West Bromwich Albion 0. Bolton Wanderers 1. We have an offer in for two, David Nugent, which we'll, County, I will one, be inclined Bristol to City, accept. One. Norwich City 2, Sheffield United 1. Preston North End 0, Birmingham City 1. Queen's Park Rangers 2, Middlesbrough 1. Reading 1, Brentford 0. Sheffield Wednesday 1, Blackburn Rovers 0. Stoke City 2, Nottingham Forest 2. Swansea City 1, Wigan Athletic. I'm very happy with the team so we've managed to put league together. League. Like very, very happy. Remain Swansea City with 57 points. In second, West Bromwich Albion with 55 points. In third, Aston Villa with 55 points, but only behind on goal difference. In fourth, Sheffield Wednesday with 48 points, with a game in hand on the team above. In fifth, Derby County we have an offering from Matej Matej Vidra. I'm just going to ignore seventh, it. He is City such a good player, 44. especially to come on. Only behind on goal difference. In eighth, Stoke City with 41 points. Bottom of the table, Bolton Wanderers with 19 points. I'm just trying to think: is there anyone else? The table, second bottom, Sheffield. That I could bring in. Obviously, we are bringing in Jack Wilshere. The start of next season. Let's just have a look at them scout reports, shall we? There shouldn't be anyone that's not scouted now. No, that's fine. Galas is cheap. 
not that quick. Nothing. It's not. He's not joining. These two, I will sign at the start of next season. Uh, there's no doubt about it. Turn it again. I will sign at the start of next season. He can play my left. He, he will be my left centre back. He's Scottish, isn't he? Musa Dembele, 77 rated striker. I could get him for like less than 20 million. Dolberg is out on loan. I'm not interested in him. Jamal Sells has moved. I can't get him. Katsuma, not interested in unfortunately. Not anymore. These three I might buy next to start of next season. But at the moment I'm not fast. But I am going to make a move for Moussa Dembele. I've got to see if I could bring him in. Oh, we don't actually have much money left. Who could I offer? Curtis Davis. They want a left back. I can't afford it. Okay, so we don't we won't bring anyone else in. It's a little bit unfortunate, but the way the cookie crumbles at the end of the day will we beat Millwall in this FA Cup fixture obviously I would love to for the FA Cup run but obviously I'm assuming it just for this episode I'm not sure when I will next bring, bring the next episode out but I will have played quite a few games with this team got a feel for it and I well, we, we actually get a replay and we will probably wait when are we next play oh Christ what Arsenal doing? 4 Stoke City I might one. as well do that Bolton Wanderers oh no one. it's all gone wrong Manchester United 2 Bournemouth 1 Brighton and Hove Albion like I said one. I'm aiming fourth in Everton the table two. I think I said Fulham that in the previous episode one. Exeter City 1 Nottingham Forest. Can nil. we get fourth? Leeds United one. Swansea City. And the whole one. team is Liverpool improving three. very Boston, well. Nil. Who's first? You got Villa, Liverpool, Swansea, one. West Brom. Villa, Swansea, one. or West Brom? Newcastle I United, will bring two. the next episode. West United two. Notts County one. Oldham Athletic one. Swansea Southampton, there. Nil. Wolverhampton Wanderers. Villa nil. there. Watford one. Cardiff City and West one. Brom. Last two games of the season, one. looks Crystal like. Palace, I will two. be bringing the last two English games of the season. Birmingham City, three. Rotherham uh, United, nil. Middlesbrough, one. Sheffield Wednesday, I might bring one. a game around the middle Sheffield for Swansea United, and one. QPR. Aston Villa, two. But we'll see about that. But we do have a very tough final two games of the season. <laughs> I didn't realise we had them two last. Let's just simulate this Millwall game, get it out of the way. Transfer from Marcus Olsen. I'm going to keep him in case we have to revert back to a 4-4-2. Um, uh, four at the back, sorry. We beat them in the league. English Football League Championship. And then we go into transfer Fulham deadline day. Nil. Fulham, Fulham have offered 1.5 million for Anya, but again, Anya is one of them players that United I would love one. to just keep around the club. Millwall, nil. Derby County, one. Nottingham Forest, four. Preston Since North our End, billionaire one. came in, we've spent With an athletic, 80 million one. pretty much. Reading, nil. Which and I think is justified. 80 million, to be table. fair, 80 million in the At championship the the is not justified, is it? Aston Villa with 58 points. In second, Swansea City. But that's what the board wanted me to do. With a game in hand on the team above. They've come in, in they've third, said, do you know West what? Albion, Here's some money. Points. In fourth, Sheffield Wednesday. Go splash the cash. Points. In fifth, Derby County with 48 points. So I did. In sixth, Nottingham Forest with 47 points. 
In seventh, climbing the table so are Hull City with 45 points. In eighth, rising up the table are Wigan Athletic with 44 points. Bottom of the table, Bolton Wanderers Just see how um, but only it ends up. On goal difference. And then reading up the table, second bottom, Sheffield United with 22 points, with a game in hand on the team above. Third bottom, Rotherham United with 26 points. Fourth bottom, Millwall with 29 points. Fifth bottom, Reading with 30 points. No one else has made any big moves. Cavani to Real Madrid still the biggest move. Huang Dong Yong's gone to um is that Euro FC Uruk? Is Cadero's gone to um is it, oh, Toulouse? Not sure. FC Lorient, I'm not sure who that is. Bruno Cesar's moved. Kimpembe's gone to Arsenal. It's a big move for the Frenchman. With two hours to go, are any more signings going to be made? Looks like Cavani's still the biggest deal to go through. It's total of 225 mil 255 million spent on deadline day. And that is... Oh, we'll quickly do the monthly scouting update. Reject. Sign, 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 reject, and reject. I always sign the players that are worth over 100k. If they're not worth over 100k, there's pointless keeping them. I mean, you're excited about that, Charlie Shaw. Six foot one cam, with a bit of pace behind him. Right, guys, if you've enjoyed this episode, please leave a like and subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Goodbye.